Yeah, so um, look, I'm 56 years old, I'm a huge fan, always have been. Um, it's one of those things that I always look for a DeLorean. I've had about seven of them in my day, which were just drivers. Mm-hmm. And every time I bought one, I ended up with a habitual problem with the car, and I said, I'm never going to buy another one. <laughs> and then uh, this one became available. It was out in the um, kind of the uh, Vegas area, and it was built. Uh, for a company as a 10 year kind of back to the future they were celebrating their success and looking towards the future and it just a friend of mine happened to call me and said hey dude there's this car in our underground basement and it's been sitting there people are picking on it and I was like what do you mean picking on it so he sent me pictures I said dude it's like a back to the future DeLorean I could not want it so uh, he brought it out to me and it needed, he said it ran everything was good I got it and uh, didn't run it oh. so I went to a place called PJ Grady he's kind of like the mastermind of um, all the DeLorean people out in the East Coast area. He's from Long Island. And he says, yeah, drop it off. I can fix it. And three and a half months later, I got a phone call and said, yeah, hey, that's an extra five grand. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> But I got a running car out of it. Yeah. And uh, we started rebooting and refitting and watching the movie and trying to recreate some of the props that had been pulled off it. Yeah. And in the process, I decided, you know, it'd be really cool to do these Comic-Con events and different shows and do fundraisers. And everyone was kind of in on it, thought it was pretty cool, and I was at a bar probably maybe eight years ago, seven years ago, and I was dressed as Doc, I had this crazy wig on and the, the uh, white suit, and I was like, has anyone seen Marty? Great Scott! Someone, Great Scott! Someone's going to find Marty for me! And uh, someone turned me on to this young man, his name is Matt Bell, aka Marty McFly, he's a country now, number one Michael J. Fox lookalike, and we started doing shows together. That's and, cool. Uh, yeah, it's like been really, really cool. We had the opportunity in 2015, which was the anniversary, to do New York Comic Con, and we were hired by uh, Pepsi Cola and uh, did the uh, kind of the birth of Back to the Future 2 with Pepsi Perfect, and when they re released it. And then Universal was uh, promoting Jurassic World at that time, and they watched what we were doing, and they said, What are you guys doing on October 21st? And we're like, That's the anniversary. It's like, <laughs> I'm not sure. We're still kind of weighing what we're going to do. Like, we'll fly into London. We want you to release a Pepsi Perfect in London with us. So, uh, Doc and Morty lookalikes have to go to London. And uh, we worked there for about three days. We stayed there for three days to kind of soak in what it was all about. And, we, and it's opened so many doors. It's given us really great opportunities. We got to work with the symphony. Uh, they've been touring and they're actually doing different areas now. But they actually show the movie live on a giant screen. The symphony accompanies it live music. So we got to do uh, Pittsburgh. We got to do Philadelphia. We got to do Radio City Music Hall, New York City. as wow. Doc and Marty. So what we would do is when people came in, we would greet them as Back to the Future 1 costumes. <laughs> and then in intermission, we were dressed in Back to the Future 2 costumes. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they left, we were in the Western gear. Oh, man, that's so, cool. Like, you know, we just really, we embraced the character. We loved the franchise. Yeah. Uh, had the opportunity to work with uh, Michael J. Fox, Claudia Wells, Tom Wilson, um, Christian Glover, Bob Gale. I mean, kind of everybody. So it's really been kind of a really cool treat. Yeah. Which kind of accident, you know? But mm-hmm. I think you kind of make things happen, but then you make the most of it does happen. Yeah. So people are really lucky. Then we get fans like you that say, you know what, dude? This is really cool. Like, it is really cool. It. Yeah, I've actually never seen a DeLorean up until now. Oh, really? Yeah, there was one that was for sale up in Brentwood one time. I was going to go up and see it, and it sold right as I was going to go see it. I was like, oh, but then this was here, and I was like, oh, i got to go see that, you yeah, know? you know, and I always laugh because I always say, I bet that without Back to the Future, these would be, uh, probably someone would have the front of it cut out and made like a cooler in the back of the room. Yeah. It would be the coolest barbecue you've ever seen. <laughs> yep. But, you know what, if we didn't get thanks to the movie, they've become very, very relevant again. Yeah, they have. Yeah. yeah. And with the anniversary mm-hmm. being so big, I tell people all the time, people always ask me like, why do you think the movie's still relevant? Why do people like it? Mm-hmm. And I yeah. think really, it's got all the ingredients yeah. to make it work. You've got the friendship with Dr. Morty. Yeah. He's got Morty's family, kind of starts out as kind of Nerdville and then the Poolville. Mm-hmm. You've got the relationship between Morty and Jennifer. Yeah. So you really have some really cool stuff going on there. And yeah. the bottom line is, we still have a time travel. Yeah, so, I know. Really? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I don't know if you knew it, but the original time machine for the film was supposed to be a refrigerator. 
Really? Yeah, that's how it was written in the original script. And they realized what a bad idea because there was always situations around the country where someone would put a refrigerator out as a pickup day and a little boy or a little girl or somebody might not think they could get inside and go into oh. any kind of some type of catastrophe or yeah. tragedy. So they thought that's really bad because it hurt you to get in the refrigerator. <laughs> so uh, then it turned into using uh, John DeLorean's brainchild. Well, I've been very, very blessed and very lucky to work with the cast. And um, I worked with Michael, so we have Michael J. Fox, who is Marty. We have uh, Tom, who was Biff. Yep. Everyone hated Biff, unfortunately. <laughs> um, we have Leah Thompson, yep. uh, who played Marty's mom in the first movie, obviously. He was yep. in all three movies. We have James Tolkien, who's become a real good friend of mine, who also was in the movie Top Gun. Yep, I so, remember that. I mean, yep. he's just an awesome man. Really, really great guy. Obviously, Chris Lloyd, you see his is the oh, biggest. Yep. <laughs> and he was the one I met first to have signed a hood, and it was very cold outside. So I said to Chris, I said, Chris, do me a favor, can you sign the card? He goes, absolutely, I'd love to sign it, Eric. And I said, well, he goes, where do you want me to sign it? I said, well, sign it like you own it. So he oh, man. pulled back his coat and he did this giant signature, and I said, you know what, how cool is that? Yeah. So I've been very lucky. Uh, Don Fullalove, who played Mayor Goldie Wilson. Yep. Uh, we also have uh, Huey Lewis. We've done four shows with Huey Lewis in the news. And unfortunately, uh, just recently, Huey yeah. is backed out of doing concerts anymore because of his voice and his hearing. Yeah, he went deaf. Yeah, more his hearing, yeah. Yeah, that's, that was sad. Uh, Crispin Glover, who's really kind of uh, the hard one to uh, get. He's yeah. very unique individual. He's an actor's actor. Uh, very kind of, you've seen him in other roles, and I know specifically that I always remember from Charlie's Angels as being the bad guy. Yeah. Um, so we've had some really great people. Claudia Wells, who played Jennifer in the first movie. Mm -hmm. So really cool stuff. And we let fans do pictures. Even Darth Vader gets to get in. Yep. <laughs> he gets to get in. Yeah. So yeah, man, we've been just very, very, very lucky to do really cool stuff with the car. Yeah, it's really awesome. It's actually cool to see it here, you know, especially with all the signatures. I didn't expect that. Yeah, and that's, a, that's the thing, you know, it's kind of like a prize. That's yeah. my kind of uh, piece de la restaurant.